Hello, my name is Bruce Brown. Today I would like to present for you and demonstrate um, Cyber Sentinel's supervised machine learning technology, which we call predictive blacklisting. It is one of many use cases within the Cyber Sentinel uh, suite. And I'm a lead, I am the lead engineer uh, for Jesco Cyber Sentinel Solution. Okay, so briefly, Cyber Sentinel is an advanced machine learning solution for detecting real time cyber uh, threats. It's a malware detector uh, for detecting these real time threats uh, within your uh, enterprise network. Um, cyber Sentinel is uniquely suited to detect advanced persistent threats. I'll describe those here in a few minutes. Uh, it is a bundled solution, but also includes support services along with advanced visualization and forensic capabilities. And it comes with a, a number of pre-tested and pre-configured pre use cases uh, for detecting advanced persistent threats, but also allows you to uh, build your own uh, use cases as, as the threats evolve um, within the cyberspace um, by using the uh, development technologies that are included uh, as part of Cyber Sentinel. I'll describe those a little bit uh, in more detail in a few moments. It's also very flexible, and uh, Cyber Sentinel will inter interface with existing SIEM and big data analytics solutions. This chart shows you, uh, sort of shows you how to understand where Cyber Sentinel fits uh, within the marketplace um, versus existing SIEM solutions like QRadar, um, ArcSight, HP ArcSight uh, would be another example. Existing SIEM solutions generally uh, have two approaches. Uh, they detect uh, known knowns um, via rules and signature analysis, and that's your internet or intrusion prevention system uh, that does that for you. And also signature-less approaches which detect um, uh, unknown knowns. In both cases, uh, these are uh, generally attacks that are understood, and you're preventing those or detecting those within your network. Cyber Sentinel uses a slightly different approach. It has a different strategy. We use advanced machine learning technologies to detect unknown unknowns. So by monitoring your network and watching for anomalies, both in a supervised and unsupervised way, uh, we're able to detect attacks before there's a signature produced for these attacks. So it's a very advanced approach and very effective uh, in today's cyberspace where we see different attacks uh, changing up on a daily basis and causing significant uh, financial loss uh, to um, enter enterprises, okay? So let me just quickly define an advanced persistent threat. An APT is a network attack in which an unauthorized person um, could be a, a nefarious a hacker, individual, or a state-sponsored organization it gains access to your network and stays there for a long period of time undetected. The intent is to steal your data or exfiltrate your data as opposed to disruption or uh, destructive um, types of attacks. I'm going to focus in, there are many examples, but uh, I'm going to show you a, as part of the demonstration how Cyber Sentinel can detect um, the Angler exploit kit. This exploit kit has grown in popularity, as you can see from the chart on the right-hand side, and uh, has caused significant uh, monetary loss within the financial industry as well as uh, other industries. The way that uh, Angular Exploit Kit works, and this is uh, similar to other types of attacks as we see them today, advanced persistent threats. Um, the user is enticed via uh, perhaps spam, an email, or some advertisement uh, to go to um, a particular website. Once you go to that website uh, by clicking on an email attachment or just by uh, going to a normal website that perhaps you've used before that's considered benign and safe, uh, once you go to this website, which has been infected, um, then you're directed to another site, um, which delivers the malware to your system and begins to in uh, exploit your system and steal data uh, from you, usually via a command and control uh, server or set of servers, as is the case with a botnet. Okay? At all points, exploit kits go to great length to avoid detection. detection. So this is typically missed by your normal um, signature-based uh, technologies, uh, SIEM solutions, antivirus packages, and so forth. So how does Cyber Sentinel detect these threats? Well, we have three approaches. We use a supervised machine learning approach, which I'm going to focus on today. 
an unsupervised machine learning approach. We have other recordings that describe our profiling use case, which uses unsupervised machine learning. And we also have semi-supervised learning uh, techniques or use cases. Okay? So predictive blacklisting is our supervised machine learning approach. It, re, um, it requires a model to be built of your network um, so that we, are, we train the system to understand your normal day-to-day -day network interactions and it can adapt as, as things change and as threats uh, come into your system. And so uh, we're working by detecting uh, these threats um, that uh, uh, come into your system, as I described earlier, and then very often leverage the DNS system. You have to use DNS to get on the network. And so DNS is used in a, in a nefarious way uh, to infect your system. So the predictive blacklisting use case uh, receives your uh, domain IP white, uh, white list and blacklist. We want to tell you about unknown unknown. So we uh, input what you already know to be bad or, uh, or domains that you don't want your users to be leveraging during day-to-day -day operations. We ingest the DNS response data. We tie to a domain reputation feed like X4 Survivors Total. And we process, we extract the features uh, that are important. We build a model to look for anomalies within these normal features. Okay, and then we output results, either benign or suspicious infected, uh, to normal um, technologies like your SIEM solution, QRadar, uh, HP ArcSight, Splunk, uh, or to Hadoop if you want to store a large number of uh, Internet traffic, a large number of internet transactions, a large body of traffic. For further analysis, you can uh, write these results to or store these results in Hadoop. The foundational, there are two foundational components to Cyber Sentinel. One is IBM's Infosphere Streams technology. This is a very mature, complex event processor with additional features uh, like advanced toolkits and uh, high availability uh, uh, technologies. Develop, it comes with a development suite to allow you to build your own use cases. Uh, but Infosphere Streams is uniquely suited to ingest your network packets in real time at, high, at a very high rate of speed and uh, process, detect these threats uh, in real time. Additionally, to train the models, as I've described, in a supervised way, uh, we leverage IBM's SPSS modeler. And so, um, the approach with the IBM SPSS modeler that you can see in the screenshot, okay, is to start with uh, your DNS response data, uh, extract the features that are relevant for the model, and do a base scoring. In step two, we would provide or, or perform forensic analysis to determine if the model can detect uh, what we predict to be benign domains and infected domains. The result of that will be some false negatives and false positives. Then the third step, we would tune the model, okay, by ingesting the predicted uh, benign domains, infected domains, and uh, we would ultimately come out with a trained model that would have a very high degree of accuracy in detecting anomalies within your DNS subsystem, uh, which is a choke point for detecting advanced persistent threats like the Angler exploit kit. Once this model is produced, it, it is uh, exported and ingested or leveraged by streams, Infosphere streams, which scores network packets as they go through in real time against this model. Um, you have two approaches or two uh, possibilities here. You can uh, have a data scientist within your organization that works with SPSS and understands it and tunes your models. We can tune the models for you. Does it service that JustGal offers training and, and tuning of your models? Um, if you have a data scientist on staff, you can uh, build your own models. You can experiment with different um, analytic technologies, machine learning technologies as part of SPSS. We also provide, JustGo provides an automated uh, model training, tuning and training technology so that you don't have to employ a data scientist or have this expertise. So you can do this manually uh, in a supervised way um, or it can be done in an automated fashion. Uh, if you'd like more information on Cyber Sentinel and the services we provide or to get a demo or try the technology, Here's our contact information. So at this point, I'm going to flip over and show you some uh, screenshots to actually show the system running, okay? So here I have uh, the modeler up, the SPSS modeler. You can see, uh, very similar to the screenshot I showed you, that I've built a model. I've um, trained the model and tested it 
and now I have a scoring branch, and I'm ultimately outputting the model, exporting the model uh, to InfoSphere streams in this last step here, okay, where I publish the stream, and then uh, the SPSS scoring operator in InfoSphere streams leverages the model and scores against the network packets as they go by in real time. In this window, I have Cyber Sentinel up and running. Let me log in. Here you can see our Cyber Sentinel appliance. Um, and I have, um, what I have done here is I have downloaded an Angular exploit kit recording in the form of a PCAT file. And I've got this up here uh, in the Wireshark um, tool. Okay, So I was able to get this recording uh, from this website that you see here, malwaretrafficanalysis.net. This is an Angular exploit kit recording that was caught in la uh, back in June of last year. And the site explains, it provides a recording, which I've downloaded and I showed you in Wireshark, and it explains how the attack begins and progresses. There's always a, um, a post in or a pre-infection, if you will, query where you're directed to an infected website with the Angular exploit kit. And then post-infection queries to command and control, as I described earlier, go to these domains. Okay, so we're going to see Cyber Sentinel's predictive blacklisting use case detect these and tell you, the network administrator, security administrator, that you need to blacklist these uh, domains. And we're going to detect them through the model that we built. Okay, so let's go back to Cyber Sentinel. And you can see this recording has a total of, I believe, 2,202, 2,202 packets. Yeah. Okay. So that will be important. We want to see Cyber Sentinel process all of those packets as I pass it through the system. So I'm going to, at this point, start up the predictive blacklisting stream flow. This would all be automated uh, and accessible via point and click. Uh, in the site in Jeskel's Cyber Sentinel appliance. For demonstration purposes here, I'm showing it to you within the development environment that comes with Cyber Sentinel. Okay, so here's our stream flow. Uh, we start by inputting uh, the file, uh, the PCAT file from the malware site. We parse out the DNS records that are of interest uh, to score against the model. Uh, we enrich with geographic information, classify, and in this case, I'm just putting the results in a file. Okay. So let's take a look here. We've uh, read the PCAP file and parsed the packets. Let's see if we've uh, gone through all 2,200. Okay, at this point we have uh, read uh, 2,202 tuples as expected. So let's look at uh, some initial results. Uh, if we go to our results directory here. We can see that right now I've started with an, uh, an initial model that hasn't been completely trained. Everything is coming up as benign. Okay, you can see the uh, pre-infection uh, query to this uh, domain here that we were somehow directed to as a normal, as a user, maybe via spam or something in some advertisement. And then post-infection queries that were reported, uh, you can see here uh, that the attack is progressing exactly as we'd expect. But right now, we're only detecting this uh, as benign. Nothing has been detected as infected. So what we need to do is tune the model, and I've, I've done that, okay? And what I'll do at this point is I will refresh the model from SPSS so the streams picks up the new model. I'll go over and I'll just tweak uh, the DNS recording uh, so that Cyber Sentinel looks at it again. It thinks it's a new uh, set of packets that have arrived. In this case, it's a recording. It could be a live feed done in real time, as I said, okay? And so now we, sh we should see a doubling of the packet count, okay? Uh, once the system detects that uh, uh, new packets have arrived. Okay, very good. So at this point, it's detected some new packets. Now we have 4404 uh, packets that have been uh, read and processed in the system. So now if we look at the results, we should have some better results um, now that we've provided a new model, and indeed we do. So we see that we have some infected results here. Let's take a look at those. And here we can see the post-infection queries exactly as the recording said we, uh, would, uh, we would expect. Okay, They're all here. And we should see that first query at the very end of my benign file here, once it read the packets again. And indeed, we see that um, 
actually what we need to do, there's some buffering going on here, is we'll stop the stream flow. Uh, Cyber Sentinel is uh, set up to is set up to um, flush its buffers at a regular interval, uh, so that memory isn't exhausted, and also so that we don't write uh, out too often to disk or some utilization technology. Okay, so we'll exit out of the stream flow. That'll cause the buffers to be flushed, and we should see at the end of the benign file uh, the post-infection queries or the directory where the final results have been placed, and look at the very end of the benign file. And indeed, we see that uh, these um, pre-infection queries, the domain is the site set. So um, I thank you for your time. Uh, you've seen uh, Cyber Sentinel uh, you know, as a resilient technology. It's able to adapt to changing threats and enables you to train, train the model on a regular basis to detect new threats as they evolve. Um, and detect threats that are previously unknown uh, prior uh, since it's able to detect anomalies uh, within the network. You have also seen that we, uh, Cyber Sentinel comes with a development environment, so you can build your own use cases. You can experiment with different types of network flows, uh, and th these are also services that JustGal can provide uh, to you. So uh, we hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, and we look forward to talking with you. Thank you. Have a great day.